Hi everybody! So if things look a little different, then I shall explain why in this video. Sprite is currently in a temporary little cage setup um, downstairs whilst we build the new cage upstairs. Just see how Sprite is and she's actually in her little hooded bed. Hi you sweetheart! Hello! Are you chattering your teeth? Sorry if you can hear the dogs are barking next door. So all I've done here, which you would probably do different um, with a different guinea pig or if you had more than one guinea pig, um, all I've done is just set up the CNC grids um, in a little square in this little alcovey bit next to our fireplace um, and then they've got their top level so that is a kind of sealed waterproof area that I've got the hay in as well. And then I've attached the water bottle here and then she's got her pellet bowl down there. And um, as you can see that's just the bare carpet there and on this side I've got this fleece covering but really that's just to catch any hay rather than anything else because Sprite is extremely good. She will only go in there, she won't do any of her business out here so I'm not worried about getting any pee or poops on the carpet or on this fleece and it soaking through. I'm not really worried about that at all because she's such a good little piggy. And obviously she's got all her things down here, she's got some of the things hanging off the grids over there, she's got her favourite wooden hidey hut. The reason why she's in there actually is probably because I took that out for a bit. <laughs> I've put it back in now so no doubt she'll uh, find it again and go back in there. And she's got some of her cosy items, little tunnel here, but she's an older piggy so she's not really that bothered about having lots of things to go and play with and stuff. Um, Sprite spends a lot of her time just chilling out and munching on hay and <laughs> sleeping mostly. So now we're going to go upstairs and have a look at how the cage is coming along and I'll talk you through some of the uh, materials that we've got for it and what we've done so far. Here is the pet room and slash sewing room of course <laughs> and as you can see this is the new cage and it's amazing, I really love it. <laughs> it is an L-shaped cage um, so it's kind of the same original size that way across but then it's got this kind of added square on that just provides that extra bit more floor space. Um, I'm not sure yet whether we're going to go ahead and do a top level. Um, that might be something that comes along a bit later on once we've uh, <laughs> built the actual base. Uh, so also as you can see it is at tabletop height and um, these supports are really not in the proper place that they will be but they're just holding it up temporarily for now. You might recognise these, they are the Kallax shelving units that you can get from Ikea and they really match the furniture that I've already got in this room uh, and that's another reason why um, it's all this white wood because it, it just goes nice and everything matches. So we've got two of those that might go one here I think and one at that other end and then we've also got some of these legs knocking about which I think are going to go in as extra supports to hold the thing up. So it's going to be at table height, as you can see we've got some of the sides already on and all these front sides are going to be this lovely stuff which is Perspex and that is the clear acrylic plastic that a lot of people are now um, using for their DIY cages. So I'm going to have that coming right along this side, this little section here and that side there so it's going to feel really open and really nice to see the peas up close. All this wood is, it's not Ikea shelves as uh, Piggy Pig Pigs used and some other people have used as well. It is actually the similar, same material, it's just um, melamine or conti board it often gets called um, and basically as you can see on this edge here that's not finished this is chipboard, it's coated chipboard and it's got this kind of wipeable white surface on it um, that gives it this lovely clean sharp look. So the pieces of Conti board that I need for my cage are one piece going this way, a separate piece for this section and then I've got one, two sides and then this side as you can see is a, a bit taller. It might look a bit odd but it will make sense because this is the side where the water bottles are going to attach and because I've got, I'm going to use the idea of Budget Bunny, so Budget Bunny thank you for giving me the idea, <laughs> I'm going to use um, eye, hook, 
eyelets hooks so the hooks that you can screw straight into the wood and then the water bottles will attach to those so the water bottles will be on the inside of the cage and they'll and they'll be on this side um, and because of that it needs to be a, a bit taller than the other sides so that's all the materials i've got that's the progress so far on the cage I'll just run over briefly how, how we've done what we've done so far um, and it's really simple actually <laughs> I thought it was going to be a huge job but it's it's a lot more simple than you might initially think um, basically under here for anyone who is does any DIY then they'll probably recognize this this is just um, these are just drilled holes were drilled in and then the screws go up in the wood to attach all the sides. It was a bit tricky um, getting this, the, the large back panel attached. Sorry, it was going blurry there. <laughs> getting the back panel because um, the room's only quite small and the cage is literally built for this space. So uh, we had to have a bit of a struggle attaching that onto the side one there and then uh, getting it onto the base panel. So that was a bit tricky. So that's something to think about when you're doing a DIY cage make sure you accommodate for the size of the room and the fact that if you're going to move things around are you going to be able to get in and screw things and drill things together so that's just something to think about so anyway i hope you like what you see so far please leave your comments i will get back to you if you have any questions about building new cages and that kind of thing and look out for the next update because i'm sure it will be very soon we're looking to get the perspex fixed on and then it will be ready for use so again thank you for watching and goodbye for now bye bye